For number 11, it tells me that I need to sketch the graph of a polynomial function with the following characteristics. It tells me where my zeros are, so I'm going to go ahead and plot those already. So negative 6, negative 2, and 2. Then from there, it says that I'm going to be increasing from negative infinity to negative 4. So I'm going to mark that a little bit so I can see where I'm going to go. So it'll increase until I get to negative 4, and it'll increase again from 0 to infinity. So that means I'm going to have turning points at where x is negative 4 and when x is 0. So it's going to be increasing, crossing the x-axis here, and then it's going to turn to start decreasing. Then it starts increasing again when x is 0, so that'll be a turning point, and it will go through that 0. These loops don't need to be as tall. It does, that's not really going to be able to be seen just from this information here, but that um, our zeros and where we are increasing and decreasing, those points right here are going to be turning points. So then it says determine the type of symmetry based off of the graph. If this had even symmetry, that means that I would be symmetric across the y-axis, which it's not. If it was odd symmetry, it would be um, symmetry around the origin, which it is not either. So this is going to be neither. So there's our sketch. For number 12, this is write the equation of a function that opens down and whose roots are negative 3, negative 1, 2, and 3. So I can write the function in factored form. If it opens downward and I have four roots, that means I've got x plus 3, because if x plus 3 equals 0, x equals negative 3. x plus 1, because if x plus 1 equals 0, then x is negative 1. x minus 2, and x minus 6, because if x minus 2 equals 0, then x is 2. And if x minus 6 equals 0, then x is 6. So I have four x's, so the degree of this polynomial is going to be four. It's even, which means it will either face up or down. If it opens down, that means that my leading coefficient is negative.